Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be another food haul for you guys, but this one's gonna be slightly different because I'm slightly further into weaning Lila Rose. So this time I can actually give you a proper meal plan of what I feed my seven month old. I know that's something that interests you guys because I do get a lot of questions of like what I feed Lila Rose. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's just get started. So like I did in my last food haul, I'm just going to go through the meal plan with you guys and what my thinking is behind it. I'm going to go through the seven days of what we're having, um, me and Rick, and then also tell you what Lila Rose is having as well. So when it comes to meal planning for Lila Rose, I like to try and tie it in with the meals that we're having through the week. Obviously now she's seven months, she can have a lot more of a variety of food, so she can have a lot of what we're eating. So that's just something I like to think about when I meal plan for all of us each week. And I also like introducing Lila Rose to two or three new things each week. So this week it's cheese and and yogurts which I know is both dairy based so that's something that just worked with our meals so I thought I would do the cheese and yogurt this week next week I want to try avocado and strawberries because she hasn't had those yet so basically we're not straining ourselves with the weaning process I do get messages from you guys saying that you are struggling with the weaning process and trust me I am there as well with you also Lila Rose is building up to three meals a day now so when we first started obviously we just started on breakfast we then tried doing breakfast and dinner at the end of the day and when we tried to add in lunch she just did not take to it she just wasn't hungry but that is something that she's now started to have as well so when I talk about the meal plan breakfast and dinner at the end of the day are her biggest meals and then lunch is just more of like a snacky thing and we're going to build that up the more she actually tells us that she's hungry so I'm just going to show you the two recipe books that I used because you guys enjoyed that last time so this is the weaning recipe book that I use and this is absolutely brilliant so I do actually have three different weaning books but I find that this one is the easiest it's got really easy recipes in it and it's just easily laid out so I will try and leave the link down in the description for you guys if you want to go and check that one out and I thought I'd mention that one because some of the recipes that I'm doing for Lila Rose this week come from that book and then the other recipe book I am using for us this week is this one so this one was from Lidl and if I can try and find a link then I will leave it in the description but I'm not sure if you can do that for Lidl but this is basically a student book which this is so up my street it's basically the easiest meals ever like good meals but it's just an easy way of doing them you don't need loads of ingredients so yeah I will try and leave that link in the description if I can find it if not it was from Lidl. So for day one, Lila Rose's breakfast is going to be porridge and then it's going to be a three fruit puree which comes out of that book that I've just told you guys about. Then for lunch she's just going to have a yogurt and a blueberry muffin and then for dinner we are all going to have shepherd's pie together. Day two, breakfast is going to be blueberry pancakes so I'll probably have those as well. Lunch is going to be those tin sausages which you will see in my haul in a second and then for dinner she's going to have tomato, carrots and basil with chicken so that is one recipe that's in that book as well. For us we've actually got a ready meal which I don't usually do do, but I know that day two is going to be a very busy day for us so yeah that's for us we're going to have a ready meal day three for breakfast Lila Rose is going to have toast and egg for lunch she'll have sweet potato and butternut squash so something quite small and then for dinner she's going to have carrot and cauliflower cheese and roasties as well and I've tied those roasties in because we're going to have a gammon roast that day so she can have some roast potatoes day four for breakfast Lila Rose is going to have porridge and she's going to have apple as well which I do tend to like to mix together for lunch she's going to have courgette and tomato as a puree and then for dinner she's going to have what we're having which is going to be a bangers and mash with some vegetables as well day five for breakfast Lila Rose is going to have pancakes and banana so I do like to do pancakes if you've got me on Instagram you'll know that I really do like doing pancakes obviously the more foods I introduce to Lila Rose the more I'm going to change up what she has for breakfast but for now because I haven't introduced her into loads of different things I do tend to stick to like the pancakes and the easier things that I can do so lunch that day she's going to have blueberry and pear dinner she's going to have chicken with sweet potato and apple and we're actually having a noodle stir fry that day as well so there's different things there so that's something I will batch cook. Day six for breakfast she's going to have rusks and fruit and then lunch she's going to have toast and yogurt and then her dinner is going to be butternut squash, pea and broccoli and then she's also going to have a chocolate pudding that day and then for us that day we're going to have homemade pizza which I'm really looking forward to. I've never cooked that one before but that is out of that student recipe book so I'm looking forward to that one and day seven Lila Rose is going to have for breakfast egg and tomato mixed together lunch she's going to have just a blueberry muffin and I might put something with that I'm not quite sure yet and then for dinner she's going to have like a jar the bolognese jar which I'm going to try her on we don't usually use the jars very often but I'm going to try her on it that day and unfortunately that day she can't have what we're having because we're having pasta so we're having a tomato pasta for ourselves as well so that is all the meals for this week and I hope that helped you out with feeding your own baby as well let's just get straight to the food haul now okay so here we go let's start with the fruit and veg because I always like to it shows that I'm healthy 
healthy before I show the rubbish that I buy. So first of all, fruit, I've got some blueberries. So I like to use blueberries on my porridge and I like to use these for Lila Rose because she's recently tried blueberries. So there's blueberries, bananas. There are like a pack that you can get, like a children's pack. So we've got bananas, apples. I've got a cucumber. I've also got some tomatoes because I've started using these for Lila Rose and I think they're used in some of my cooking as well. I've got some celery because I think that is used in my shepherd's pie or something like that. I've then got some eggs. So if you guys watch my Instagram, you will know that I'm constantly eating eggs for breakfast. I also use them for pancakes a lot of the time as well. I should probably start getting the bigger pack of eggs to be honest, but yeah, I've got a pack of eggs, pack of six. I've then got one little garlic as well. So I've just got one there. You can see I've got a massive packet of potatoes. So I got these last time. So this is brilliant because it doubles up for mine and Rick's meals and also Lila Rose's as well. So I use that a lot in bulk cooking, the same as the sweet potato, so I tried to get quite a big sweet potato this time, um, but I use that a lot with Lila Rose's weaning, so sweet potato there. Then next to it we've got some meat, so I've got mince for the shepherd's pie, this was a 20% fat, so I try and go for like the reduced fat a lot of the time, I just let Rick pick this one, so yeah, 20% fat in that one. I've also got gammon joints, so I'm going to do a slow cooked, is it slow cooked, slow roasted, in the slow cooker if you guys get what I mean. So I'm going to do that for Sunday roast, and then Rick picked up some ham he loves his ham i then picked up this one now i would be really intrigued for any of you that give your babies chicken is it actually healthier to give them ready-made chicken like this or is it healthier to give them that fresh chicken that you can buy when you cook it yourself i basically prefer to just buy this because i find it so much quicker obviously i can just blend this straight down and put it with any meal so I prefer buying this. This was like $1.99 for a massive pack in Lidl. But I would be intrigued if any of you do feed your baby's chicken, do you actually cook it properly yourself or is this just as healthy? I'm intrigued to know. So I've got that pack basically for Lila Rose and obviously some chicken salad for me and things like that. I use that in my sandwiches and things as well. Speaking of sandwiches, we've then got some bread. So this is like the thick toasty bread. We love that in our house. In front of that, I've got the baked beans and pork sausages in a tin in the tomato sauce so this is basically like heinz baked beans with their little mini sausages so this is for lila rose because she has tried the sausages in the tomato sauce but she's never tried baked beans so i thought i'd try that this week as well so that one is for her then i've also got some mustard because i needed to stock back up so when i do my gammon i like to do it slow roasted in the slow cooker with honey and mustard sauce over it so it's like a honey cured gammon i think you could call it that so that's what that mustard's for in front of that i've got some onions obviously just for cooking in general i've then got blueberry muffins so as i said these are going to be used in lila rose's lunches this week she's never actually tried blueberry muffins so i'm going to try her on these i'm not 100 percent sure about lidl's bakery section like i've tried some of their cakes before and i found them a little bit dry so um i think these look quite moist so i thought i'd just give them a go again especially for the price i thought i'd try and save money and yeah just try them out again and see what i think so there's the blueberry muffins i've then got some creamy porridge for lila rose as well she has that quite a lot she loves her porridge with fruit and things in front of here is rick's porridge so he gets this from home bargains yeah home bargains so they're three for a pound so he uses those for work i then like my own porridge so i've got these sachets which are amazing they're just really quick you just pour the milk into the sachet if you've never tried that and then pop it in the microwave and then i just have those with fruit as well so they're a really quick breakfast anything that's quick is just a bonus for me in front of here are these biscuits that rick picked up i think these are a little bit like belvitas i have a feeling he might pick these up from lidl's these might be lidl's own like belvita things i'm really not sure don't quote me on that one um but yeah so that's those he's then got his juice which he had last time he loves this juice and i actually use this in one of lila rose's recipes as well in front of here we've got some snacks so we wanted to do a film night tonight so i've just got myself some mini pringles if you guys haven't tasted these you need to taste these i really like them they're more crispy as well because they're really mini so i got those for myself because i don't like to have a lot of snacks after having some food then rick got a massive pack of crisps We've then got these ones. So I showed these in my last food haul, but if you guys don't know, these are exactly like Maryland. Literally, the packaging looks like Maryland, apart from the fact it says Tower Gate. So these are amazing. They're just like mini cookies. I can't remember how many is in the pack and I can't quite see on my camera. So yeah, really love those. We always get those for our lunches and snacks. Now we're on to the couple of things from Frozen and then I will show you a couple of things I got for the home as well. So this one here, 
This is really good. I've only recently discovered this. I'm not sure if it's new. It doesn't say that it's new on the packaging. But basically in Food Warehouse or Iceland, we go to Food Warehouse. They do quite a number of these in the frozen section. And I'm not a massive fan. If you guys have watched my last food haul, you will know that I'm not a massive fan of ready meals and things like that. I like cooking from scratch. I just think it's healthier. But I really do love this. And I don't know if it's that healthy. I'm really not sure. All you do is pop it in a wok or a frying pan. I think it takes like 12 minutes or something thing if you just stir fry it in there and yeah that to me is a really good meal they have a few different ones they've got like a chinese rice stir fry as well honestly when we've tried them it's just a quick meal it's so much easier and i just think the taste of it is really good and to me it just feels healthier than a ready meal which is actually something i bought this week so i'm going to show you that in a minute the next thing is just a massive bag of veg so i'm starting to go to chopped up veg now i just find it so much easier with all the cooking that i do for lila rose so this is a massive bag for one pound again in iceland or food warehouse then the last thing in frozen is ready meals so i just said that i don't normally like ready meals but i know that one of the days this week i'm going to be doing filming i know that it's going to be too busy to actually cook anything so yeah i got myself a ready meal and rick got one for himself too so i just got a chili con carne from iceland i think that was like one pound fifty and then rick just got himself a chicken curry which was a pound as well so those are the frozen things then the only couple last things we got are a couple things for the house so i thought i'd show you these ones because i do get questions when it comes to my clean with me videos of what wipes I use and these are my absolute favorites so these are from Lidl's I can't quite remember how much they cost but they're not that expensive they're a massive thick pack it says 80 wipes but to me I feel like they last for a really long time I always get them in the citrus flavor no not flavor what's what's the word I mean smell not flavor just to me there um but yeah I always get them in the citrus because I just find it makes the room smell really nice so they are my favorite wipes so I got a pack of those from Lidl I then was really naughty we went into home bargains to get a couple things for food and I thought you know what I'm gonna get Christmassy so I've seen these gingerbread candles in a couple different places with all the Christmas stock now that's coming out and oh my god it literally smells like Christmas and I'm sorry but I, I'm ready. I, I know it's the start of October tomorrow and I'm not ashamed to say I am ready. I'm so excited for Christmas this year. So yeah, I just got myself a little gingerbread Christmas candle and yeah, I can't wait to burn that. Then this one was also in the Christmas section, but I feel like this doesn't smell like a Christmas smell at all. So this is sugared fig and blackberry, but honestly, the smell is really lovely. It's so refreshing. So I'm going to use this in the bathroom for when I have my baths and things. But um, yeah, I wouldn't say that's a Christmas one at all. I'm pretty certain both of those were 99p each. So that's pretty good for such a big candle then underneath here i will show you i have got this little whiteboard so this was also from home bargains i think this was like 89p so it's just a magnetic one i'm going to use this one for the fridge they come in loads of different colors but it comes with a pen and a little magnet as well so i'm going to put that on the fridge because rick is forever leaving me notes and this is so much better than paper flying around everywhere so yeah really pleased with that one 89p can't go wrong with that and i feel like i've been talking for a long time but i think that is everything so that is everything for this video i hope you guys enjoyed that one and enjoyed being a little bit nosy into what I buy each week for our food shop. If you haven't already subscribed to me and you'd like to, then please don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave because it really does help to support my channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!